Association of Ghana has once again defied a directive by the National Labour Commission to call off its one-week strike. The teachers are demanding the implementation of their conditions of service. On Tuesday, the NLC granted a request to the teachers who had asked for a postponement of a meeting with the NLC slated for today. The commission further ordered the teachers to call off the strike in view of the postponement. However, speaking to 3FM president of the Colleges of Education Teachers Association, Prince Obinghema said the strike is still in force. Yeah, Ghanaians are wide awake and they know that the government is deliberately uh, delaying in uh, responding or delaying in uh, complying with the orders of the National Labor Commission. If there is any party that is deliberately delaying, I think it's the government that has to be held accountable. Now, before we go, ranking member on the Works and Housing Committee of Parliament, Vincent Opon Asamoah says the future NDC government will cite the MPP for causing financial loss to the state and also investigate additional funding being sought by the government for the completion of the Saglame housing project. The Minister for Works and Housing, Francis Asensubwati, in responding to the former president, John Dramani Mahama, who accused the government of abandoning the project, said it will cost extra $114 million to complete the project. But the ranking member says there's a possible case of causing financial loss to the state. Because of wear and tear and the thievery that has occurred over there, right now we need about double of what we needed in 2016 to complete the projects now. So who do you blame? And we are going to follow it because Saglame is so important to us. Right now, you have arranged some people, you are taking legal actions against certain people, and I'm telling you, some people will have to also answer some questions in future. But I'm very, very sure that if, if we cite this government, the officials of this government, of having called financial losses, it, it will not be perfect. The voice of the ranking member on the Works and Housing Committee of Parliament, Vincent Opoma, somewhere bringing to an end the morning news here on 3FM. My name is Noble Crosby Anna, but there's always more news on our website, 3news.com. Sunrise is up next. Good morning.